I'd like to take a quick look at the zoom area function in Adobe Captivate 5, I was going to say CS5. Um, we can go up to insert standard objects zoom area or we can come over to here and click insert zoom area. When we click insert zoom area you can see it consists of two square boxes. One we've got the zoom destination and this one we've got the zoom source. Now the zoom destination I'm going to make slightly bigger so I'm going to hold down the shift key just make it a bit bigger and this zoom source you can see as we move it around it's zooming up different things now one of the things I want to highlight here is uh, the crop tool so I'm going to hold down shift again so I don't distort and I'm going to push that over and center it around the crop tool what I'm actually going to do is um, talk about the, the crop tool and I want to start off with a little bit of dialogue and then I want to zoom in and show this crop tool and then come back out again. Now I can put the zoom there to be honest with you. So this slide at the moment is three seconds long. I'm going to make that a bit longer. I'm going to make it to six seconds long. I'm going to make sure I'm going to unlock the picture. Make sure that, that goes to the end of the slide as well. I'm going to lock it back again so I don't move it. And the zoom area, I want it to come in after one and a half seconds and go out at four and a half. So let's have a quick preview here before we um, do a published preview. I'm going to press play and that plops in. Now also this one here, the zoom area, and the actual zoomed up place has got a stroke around it. So you could say, give it a colour, etc, etc. This one here, this one's got a stroke, we'll give that one yellow. And now let's press F4 to preview. Press F4 to preview. Come on, preview. There we go. That's how zoom area works in Captivate 5. 